Hi, my name is Aishwarya and I am going to read an essay about my awesome brother. I have an eight-year-old brother who is in second grade. His name is Aditya. He goes to Norman Rockwell Elementary. My brother reads me books daily. He is always funny with me. When I fall sick, he does all silly things to cheer me up. He calls me by all funny names, which I enjoy a lot. We talk and play daily while we go and come from the bus stop. Whenever he enters our home, the first question he asks my mom, where is my sweet girl? He always kisses me goodnight and I hug him. I like wearing his, his clothes when it becomes smaller for him. He teaches, teaches me chess and he helps me to win the game against him sometimes. I admire my handsome brother and I always look up to him for inspiration and he is the best. My dad is my hero. He is 38 years old and he is very tall and handsome. My dad calls me Putta, little one, and I call him up my dad. Every day morning, my dad helps me get ready to school. He makes me breakfast, packs my lunchbox, and drops me off at the bus stop. He attends every parent meeting at school and volunteers in class events. My dad likes to spend time with me, and he plays a lot of games with me. We play foosball, Lego, Monopoly, Connect, Four, Tic-Tac-Toe, Rock a Walk at games together. He taught me how to ride my bike. He used to run behind me as he was afraid that I would fall off my bike and hurt myself, even though I was wearing a helmet, knee pad, and elbow pad. When it is winter, we play in the snow, and every time we make a snowman and a glue. This winter, he took me snow jewelry, and it was super fun. My dad cares about me. He has told me not to talk to strangers, or get chocolate from them, or sit in their car. He buys me new clothes, toys, and lots of gifts when returning from his business trips. I miss him when he's on his business trips, but not at home with me. My mom and dad both help me with my homework, but my dad makes it more fun and easier. My dad loves me, cares about me, and is there whenever I need any help. That is why my dad is my superhero. I love my dad. Simple life that makes a difference by Maya Kato. Some men are known from acting on the big screen, and others have impact through political office. But my uncle Brad makes a difference by just being himself. Uncle Brad teaches at a high school in a small rural town of Tenasket, Washington. I chose him because of the impact he makes on me as a person. One of my favorite things about him is his love for reading. reading. We both appreciate a good read and share our love for interesting topics. He brings a book to read wherever he goes. Visiting our house for the holidays, Uncle Brad takes his place in our cozy black chair with a blanket and starts in on his book. He's never short of good reads and always has a running list of books he plans to read next. He is happy. He's always happy to tell me about his new books whenever I ask him and is patient with my questions. I love hearing about the books he's teaching about and look forward to reading them when I'm older. One of his characteristics that stands out to me most is his sense of humor. He knows what to say to make me laugh and always says it at the right time. I especially love when we play games. He has a great attitude even when he's losing. Whenever my family plays a game called Great Tom Moody, my uncle often finds himself in the losing position. He embraces the situation with humor and makes us all laugh with his antics. His wit makes a difference to me because it inspires me to use humor to bring joy to others. In addition to his before-mentioned traits, Uncle Brian makes a difference through his kindness. When he talks to us about his work as a teacher, I can tell he cares deeply about his students' success. His kindness shows in our family when he volunteers to help cook meals, reads us books, and makes us all laugh. He has a gentle manner and only shows kindness and care towards others. He treats everyone with respect and sets a great example for me. One of my favorite quotes is a song lyric by Jordan Smith, Stand in the light and be seen as who you are. Uncle Brad is a great example of this quote. His love of reading 
sense of humor and kindness makes a difference simply because he's uh, simply because of him being himself. Watching him encourages me to do the same. I always look forward to his visits and enjoy all of his amazing stories. I look up to him as a role model. That is why my uncle Brad is a man who makes a difference. My real hero, my grandfather. From my very childhood, I idolized my grandfather, Mr. Nanak Chand Kamboj. He was more than a grandfather. He was a sincere friend, a great babysitter, the marvelous storyteller, and of course, a fantastic teacher. He was also the one I trusted the most. He taught me many life skills and lessons that I apply to my life today. Life lessons, ethics, and skills. Once, when I was eight years old, I participated in a family race. He has always encouraged me to try my best and never give up. Through his support and encouragement, I got the second place, but was not thrilled with the results. But when my grandfather reminded me that this was all a game, when you fail, you learn, work hard, and finally win. My grandfather believes that sports were a big part of a healthy lifestyle and always encouraged me to play sports, be active, and eat healthy food. He was my personal soccer trainer. He taught me how to dribble, how to tackle, and most essentially, how to pass at the right moment. He always told me that in game or life, it is important to move forward as a team. He, he always reminded me to work hard and help others. He taught me to value trust, friendship, honesty, and respect. He taught me to be responsible and patient. He told me to make the right choices and think about the consequences, but most importantly, hope. Such a small word with so much meaning. You should never give up hope, keep faith in yourself, and anything is possible. A treasure. Many life lessons from him since my childhood. He is someone I treasure so much. He has been my life's guide. Through his experience, he has taught me many things about the value of hard work and to be open-minded in life. He also inspired me to have fun along with studies. Every evening, we would come outside and sit in the garden to talk to each other and play. Whenever I played badminton with friends, he said it wasn't about winning, but having fun. After dinner, he would invite all the kids in his bedroom and tell a story about India. And we used to play board games together. He used to say the best gift he ever got was his family. My grandfather taught us to take care of the environment and the nature. One day, he invited us over to an empty patch in the garden and asked us to help him plant some fruit. Planting the fruit was fun, but waiting for it to grow so we can taste it was incredibly hard. Like John Jacques Rosé said, patience is bitter, but his fruit is sweet. Every kid needs a role model in his or her life. My grandfather lost his father while he was still four months old. His mother was folk of limited means and raised him. Despite being the son of a farmer, his mother pushed him to go to school in the nearby villages for education. He showed great interest in formal education. He grew up to be a hard-working, intelligent, and tenacious young man and became an engineer. He was a helpful citizen, social worker, and community leader. He had worked hard to unite the community across the globe by sharing his wisdom. He, his only purpose was to help others and work for the community, for people, and humanity. He was a true philanthropist. He was also the president of many community organizations. He died at the age of 72 in August 2016. Ever since that day, I have tried to present my best self. I will always remember him as a good person and through his teachings. He taught me to remain calm under pressure and gave me enough strength to tackle each situation. He's, his teachings will live inside of me and others who have had the honor to meet him. Moves that matter. You never lose. You either win or you learn. This is one of the many indelible lessons that my dad has taught me during our chess games. My father and I have been playing chess since the time I was six years old. I was drawn to the game when I learned that my dad was a chess master at his university. Initially, getting the knight to jump in an L shape or moving the pawn en passant was merely entertaining for me in the game of chess. But chess isn't just entertainment, it symbolizes life my dad often said. Little did I realize that my dad's motivation to get me to play chess extended far beyond mere fun. 
As years rolled by, I realized that my life is akin to the game of chess, where the pieces are like people in my life, some on my side and some against. Each piece has a unique role, and the pieces working together in unison is critical for success. As in chess, where your opening move determines how the game progresses, in life, it's important that you open strong. These are my dad's words that resonate in my ears as I venture into any new activity. As a little kid, I used to wonder why the chess pieces moved in a specific pattern and why there were multiple pieces in the game. My dad, while explaining that there are rules that one should follow in chess as well as in life, has been creatively instilling in me that the various pieces in chess are like a support system. In life, just like how you benefit from the support structure of others around you, you must also selflessly help those who are less fortunate, he explained. It is this undying motivation and support that I have received from my dad that has inspired me to give back to the community. Thanks to my dad's advice, I have truly cherished teaching art to little kids at orphanages, mentoring refugee kids and volunteering at communities for people with disabilities. At times while playing chess, I have complained to my dad that the game is incredibly hard. I vividly recall the many times when I have lost my dad in the game and cried profusely for hours on end. My dad used to patiently tell me that failures are stepping stones to success. My dad would then go on to tell me that nothing in life is ever easy and that persistent hard work is one of the secrets to success. He has shared stories of his childhood growing up in a small town in India and wanting to settle in the U.S. so that he could raise his family in the great country of boundless opportunities. From the early years of his schooling, he worked tirelessly, rose to be a national rank holder in India, and received full scholarship to study in the U.S. I am living the dream today, but this path to success has been all but smooth, he has often reminisced. I have learned that setbacks are to be expected and that in fact, with each setback, I only get stronger. I feel blessed that my father has always made time for me and has been a strong pillar of support at each stage of my life. What my dad initiated as an entertaining game of chess years ago continues to shape me each passing day. Never cease to innovate as you play by the rules. You take responsibility for your actions, plan well and take charge. These and other invaluable lessons that I continue to learn from him each day will serve as a positive force throughout my life. Thanks to my dad's unwavering guidance, I know that with hard work and perseverance, any goal is within reach. I am writing about my grandpa, Charles Ernest Grohl. I call him Opa. He was born in 1930. When he was my age, he lived on a farm in Iowa. He worked a lot. Then his mother got cancer, so she died. Many people were poor back then. Sometimes he got really hungry, so he ate out of the garden. He milked the cows and made some butter. Opa was in the army. He is still athletic and he still has a farm. Opa was in the army, but he wasn't in combat. He did a special test, so he didn't go to Korea like he was supposed to. He went to Japan to be the boss of trucks and things for the war and engineering. I like his stories. Opa is still athletic. He gets up early and eats healthy food. When he goes to my house, he walks me to school. Sometimes we walk to the park and he shoots some hoops with me. He rides a bike and he climbs ladders. Opa still has a farm, he still has tools, and he can still build. When I go there, he helps me drive the riding lawnmower. We pick raspberries and we see goats. We make popcorn. We read the funny papers and do Sudoku. We build puzzles. I am glad I have this grandpa because he's unusual and he has talents. He understands me when other people don't. I am impressed that he lives so long. I will always love him.